So I want to start making videos again. I'll explain why I haven't been making them. One thing has to do with the camera and the season's about to start again. And I just don't know, hauling around a big camera at the racetrack, on the airplane, in the van, isn't always practical. So I tried to come up with a solution on what would be better than just shooting with my iPhone. I mean, the iPhone 10 is great, um, but you know, when you film with an iPhone, it looks like you're filming with an iPhone. So behold, the Sony RX100 5. This camera's been out, I think, since 2016. I know some people have been waiting for the next one to come out, so I went ahead and bought this one. That way, the other one will for sure come out. Let's take a look at it here. Should be a lot more portable, like a phone, but I'm hoping we'll have better video quality. A lot of people have made videos about this camera since it has been out since 2016. So I'm not going to go into much of that. Um, there it is right there. They didn't have any external batteries. So I ordered a couple of Sony's off Amazon and a couple of Wasabi batteries. Um, if, you, if you've watched my videos before, you know I have been shooting with Canon. So... I did not purchase an SD card with the camera. One second. Another problem with the iPhone is the back camera is the best camera, but I can't see if you can even see me right now. I'm just going to assume you can. All right, let's power it on. I don't know how to turn it on. Right here? There we go. English. We'll do automatic right now since my phone is shooting an automatic. Push the menu button. Maybe it's on this tab. There we go. My phone is shooting in 4K, so I'm gonna switch this to 4K. I'm shooting in 24 frames per second. All right. Just leave everything else the way it was. And we will press record. Now, I still can't see myself, but this camera does have a flip up screen. So now I can see myself. Um, you guys were watching the iPhone. Now I am through the Sony RX100. I don't even know where the microphone is on this thing, so I could be covering it up periodically. Maybe set the camera on here. Like that. Back up a little bit like this. It's not so bad. Let me show you. This is what I was shooting. I was using Filmic Pro. Uh, it lets you change the frame rate on an iPhone. I can just press record on that and then show you what I got going here. So now it's a little little small camera you can fit in your pocket. If you got a decent sized pocket, obviously that lens goes in once it's off. Screen flips up, also flips back down so you can view it from behind and you can see yourself while recording. All right, gonna switch back to the RX100. Okay, just saw the autofocus work there. Seemed to work pretty good. Um, I haven't made a video in a really long time. I've, I've been wanting to get back at it. It's something I really, really enjoy doing. It's not that I haven't been making videos at all. I actually have been making a lot of videos for Team Dillon or Austin Dillon Motorsports, um, the NASCAR driver, if I can't assume everybody follows NASCAR. We make a lot of cool stuff to go on his page, uh, uh, other drivers' pages, his brother Ty Dillon. That's what I started doing this year. It's been tying up a ton of my time. The last time I talked to you guys, I'm pretty sure I was carrying tires on the number 62 Xfinity car. Well, I got moved to the 27 Menards car in the Monster Cup Series. And between that and making videos, obviously once you get moved to the Cup Series, there's a little bit more pressure. It took, you know, took a little bit more of my focus, plus making the other videos, plus 
the broken buggy stuff of the graphic shop. I just, I couldn't find time for my own videos. Um, we got to Homestead of last year and I said, I really need to wrap up uh, the season. I started off the season on YouTube. I need to finish the season on YouTube. So I brought all my equipment, shoved it all in my backpack, went down to Homestead, started making a video. We did all three races. We did the Truck Series, Xfinity Series, Cup Series. I took uh, some clips of the Truck Series with my Canon 80D that I'd been shooting all my vlogs on. And then after that truck race, we went out to eat after the race, it was a night race, and my camera, well actually, our van got broken into, our team van got broken into. I believe five backpacks got stolen. One of them was mine had my Canon 80D, the microphone obviously that was on top of it, my iPad Pro, my audio recording equipment, everything was in that backpack um, besides my laptop. But after that happened, I just, I obviously didn't continue on with the video. I was just so bummed out that somebody would do that. They broke the window out, pulled all those backpacks out of the van. Yeah, so I had a video planned. That one didn't happen. Off season got, Pretty busy, uh, ramped up the videos with Team Dylan. But yeah, now I'm back at it. Um, with Team Dylan, we ended up, we needed a camera. We were using my ADD. Obviously that's no longer. We needed. So I don't know what just happened. This camera apparently had stopped recording. Uh, the little indicator said I still had seven minutes left. But anyway, not exactly sure where I was. Uh, I think I was talking about Team Dylan and needing to purchase uh, camera equipment. So we uh, went with Sony. We went with the A6500, which is what we've been shooting videos over there with, which works great for when I'm behind the camera. Not so good when I need to turn the camera around and see myself like I could on the Canon 80D. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the camera we've been using. Kind of switched over to Sony, so that's what made me think of trying out this RX100. Everything leading up to this camera, I shot with my iPhone 10 using Filmic Pro in 24 frames per second 4K. Everything from then on has been the RX100, so you can kind of compare the video quality um, a little bit. I'm going to take the cameras, hold them side by side, and kind of go around here. I'll do some with the lights on, maybe some in low light, and you can kind of get a comparison. If you're interested in this kind of camera, how it is compared to just, you know, shooting with your iPhone. I'm getting a temperature warning. One of the big differences I did notice between my old camera, the Canon, and the new Sony's is battery life. I could film all day on my Canon uh, with one battery, usually. Uh, we went to Philadelphia and shot a trip that will be on the Austin Dillon YouTube channel. I think I went through three batteries, which the camera's smaller, the batteries are smaller. It's kind of to be expected, but you know, that part, if that part is an issue to you and you don't want to carry around extra batteries, uh, something like the Canons, the bigger Canon DSLRs might be the way for you to go. But now that I got this little guy, I'm going to try and keep him in my pocket and I will definitely be taking him down to Daytona so you will see a video from there. I'm going to take my phone, which was shooting in 24 frames per second on Filmic Pro 4K. This is shooting in 24 frames per second 4K. I'm gonna walk around here, do some with the lights on, some with the lights off, so you can get a little comparison of the video quality between the phone, the iPhone 10, and the RX100. And I will see you guys in the next video.